Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nick from MMA Pixels here with Pedro Juarez. How are you doing, Pedro? I'm doing good, man. Oh, man. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, I know you're really busy, right? You said you, you just come from work or from training? Yeah, bro. I just got off work. Just got off work right now. Uh, and and are you going to work all the way up to the fight? The fight's uh, this Saturday. Yeah, I'm at work Monday through Friday. So, But it's all good. I'm already ready. Training is done. Now just time to relax and get my mind right and ready to go. Uh, what about weight? Is is that a concern right now? Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, I just got a few pounds to cut. I mean, nothing, nothing too big. Right on. Um, I, I know talking to you earlier, you don't really know too much ab- about your opponent, or actually, maybe who your opponent is. But uh, what did you do in this training camp? You know, to prepare for this fight. I mean, I just worked on everything. I worked on my jujitsu skills, my wrestling, my boxing, my kicking. I mean, I train for all aspects of the fight. So wherever the fight goes, I'm ready. You know, it doesn't matter really. All right. Uh, you had your your first fight at the the last two and nine beat down, correct? Uh, it was the one on November. The right. one in November. Um, was that what you expected it to be a- after the fight? You know. I mean, not really. I mean, I didn't get the win, so I wasn't, you know, I was, I came to win. But other than that, I mean, it was a learning experience. I learned a lot, and I'm ready for the next one this Saturday. Right, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't mean about actually the fight. Just maybe this, the whole experience of, of going through it, with the weigh-ins, the actual walkout, and being in front of all those people. Uh, did, or does that even affect you? Are you able to tune all that out? Yeah, I, I try to tune it out. Like I try not to put too much thought into it. I just focus on, on the fight, and that's it. I try to block everything out, just zone out, you know? Right. Uh, what got you started in MMA? Well, I just I started off as a fan. Like, a lot of people, you know, just watching it on TV and then just training. I started off boxing. Um, I've been boxing for about, like, five years. Then recently I started doing MMA about – I started in last October – uh, I mean, you, sorry, September. Did you change gyms? Like, uh, were you in a boxing gym? Yeah, I was training at a boxing gym, and then mm-hmm. I decided to uh, try MMA. Did my research. Um, I was recommended to Oakdale MMA, and I've been there ever since. Right, so you actually haven't even trained uh, anywhere else. You've just been at the Last Stand Fight team? Yes, sir. Uh, That's it, where I started that. I mean, that's a good good place to start. There's like quite a bit of pros out of there. Uh, do you train with all those guys? Yeah, I do. Um, man, these guys are great fighters. I'm just soaking everything up that I can, you know, all the knowledge they're passing down to me. I got good training partners, so very beneficial. Uh, who some of the people are that you've been uh, sparring in the gym or, you know, just been helping you out, holding mitts or whatever? Uh, my partner, his name's Daniel. He's a wrestler. He's been helping me out with my wrestling. Then we got we got Justin, Justin Smitley. He fought in Bellator not too long ago. I got my other training partner, Rolando. He's another pro fighter helping me out. I mean, Buddy, another pro fighter. I'm just countless guys giving me all the knowledge, and I'm just grateful to be there. Right. Uh, you mentioned Buddy Buddy Wallace. Will he be in your corner? I know he corners a lot of uh, fighters that – um, I'm not too sure. I know it's going to be, um, Professor Tom, my teacher, and then Rolando. I don't know if he'll be there or not. Oh, right, right on. Well, that's cool. Cause R- you and Rolando are, are closer in weight, right? Yeah. He's been helping me out a lot. He's been one of my main, uh, training partners in this camp. Cause yeah, we're closer in weight. So, you know, we've been getting into work together. I mean, and that's gotta be you know, a real confidence boost for you to be able to train with a pro fighter like that so early in your career and, and knowing where you stand, you know, so that way you're not trying to figure it out once once you walk in that cage. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, all the experience those guys have just, it boosts my confidence, you know, knowing what, what I can do, being in there, hanging in there with them, and that gives me confidence to come out and perform. Uh, do you have any sponsors for this fight? I don't, I don't, man. I should, but I don't. <laughs> right on. And are you selling tickets? Uh, yeah, I am. Um, I still have a few left. Uh, I mean, 
people are hitting me up on Instagram, DMing me. So, I mean, if you want to get a hold of me, just follow me on my Instagram page. What is it? It's underscore PJ92. And uh, you, you got a Snapchat too, right? Yeah, my Snapchat is YoungP209. All right. I don't got a Snapchat, man. I think that's for the young guys. <laughs> if that's not getting one, it's not too late. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm too old, I think. All right, man. Well, I appreciate your time. Uh, 209 Beatdown 8, uh, March 23rd, this Saturday here in Modesto. Pedro Juarez, I can't wait, man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me, bro. Have a good one.